Hey besties, this is a video for all the single mother by choice or wanting to be a single mother by choice or planning to get pregnant people. Before you get pregnant, you need to sign up for short term disability. job offers it sign up if you need to get your own plan and pay your own premiums sign up and the reason being is because unless you got a primo great 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 job most of them do not pay you on maternity leave where a short-term disability does you cannot be pregnant when you start the premiums though because that's considered a pre-existing condition so here's the deal if you have a regular birth, it'll pay you for six weeks. If you have a, a C-section, it'll pay you for eight weeks. And it has um, some weak eliminations depending on how much of a premium you want to pay. But just think of this scenario. You're six months pregnant and you're put on bed rest, right? You don't have any income coming in. Maybe you don't have enough sick time. That qualifies for short-term disability. Yes, it does, which might lead in the long term, but it qualifies. So short-term disability protects your paycheck, pretty much. If you are not sitting on a whole bunch of cash to pay your bills while you're out with the baby for whatever reason, whether it be... Um, whether it be bed rest or giving birth or because... You know, if you're out the 12 weeks, at least maybe you'll have six weeks of income coming in. And it's usually 60% of your pay, but something's better than nothing. So I advise if you're planning to have a baby and you're the sole income, to have some short-term disability. And even other than having a baby, I feel that you should have short-term disability. I'm more of an insurance in case of shit type of person. And in case... I have an appendicitis and out of work for six weeks. I need some income coming in while I'm out of work. So that's just my take on it. So like, comment, subscribe, holla back.